Hello, Pagan Shooter here. Um, just got something in and I thought I would open it on camera. I'm kind of excited about this one. Uh, obviously you guys all know about uh, Bud K. Um, not much to expect. Uh, it is going to be low, low quality knives, but while I was not feeling good, I went ahead and made a purchase. And I've been excited waiting for this. So now I'm going to use uh, my cheap $5 knife to open my box of other cheap knives. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Now, I haven't seen this at all. So this will be fun, I think. Um, not expecting much as far as uh, quality. <laughs> it is Bud K after all. So... Let's see what I get. Um, so this menagerie would be the uh, invoice. Uh, here's a five dollars off. Uh, and let's see. Ooh. Now two of the items in here are going to be stuff that uh, I know about. Uh, these that would be this, which is a sharpener, a cheap sharpener I bought. And these compressed towels, just add water. I had got these because if these are fabric towels, my kids will love these for the bath. So I just chuck one in with them. So that seems to be an interesting thing. There we go, the compressed towel. And there is the sharpener. It looks pretty cheap, but you know what? It'd be fun. Okay, so what did I get? Here's the catalog. Oh, this looks like fun. Let's pull. Ooh. Ooh. So this, this may be nice. Let's see. So, <laughs> and by nice, it's all relative. So the first thing I see is this. Is a buffalo horn cat skinner. All right, then. <laughs> buffalo horn cat skinner. I love it. Okay, so we'll pull the top off here. There is the sheath. And here is the knife. Well, the handle appears to be broken. And there's the piece right there. That goes in the handle. So I will have to do some repair on this, it looks like. But, <laughs> alright, so, oh, piece just fell out. And you can see it's missing. There's a brass piece right here. The other side fell out. So I'm going to have to fix that. <laughs> but otherwise, it's a pretty sharp knife, surprisingly. And it's pretty cool. And let's see. Let's see what the sheath looks like. Oh, yeah. The sheath would be a plastic sheath. <laughs> Ooh, more of those. I need these for my gun safe. <laughs> uh, so let's see. The sheath here appears to be very low quality. <laughs> but it fits in there. Um, sort of. There we go. So there is the knife in the sheath. The sheath is plastic. Uh, the knife handle appears to be a plastic type handle that is all marred up and scratched up. Uh, there is a brass piece that came out of here, but you know, hey, mystery box. <laughs> could be anything in the mystery box. Eh. Smart man once said, could even be a boat now. So this would be the next item on the out of the box. And this looks like Jungle Defender's two-piece knife throwing set. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. So let's see. What what are you? So let's see. There's another one of those. I can use that. All right. So it comes in the box like that. Now let's go ahead and see here. So let's see. There's one knife. Um. And it's got some junk here on the tip. 
The blade for a throwing knife is actually sharp. The tip is pretty good. All right, that's interesting. And then let's see, here's the second one, which is much larger. That doesn't make any sense. This doesn't seem like a th knife throwing set. Isn't that what it said? Jungle Defender two-piece throwing knife set. Yeah, it says it is, but the blade is actually very sharp. Tip is good, yeah. I couldn't see that tip taking much throwing. Uh, the handle is wrapped with, looks like nylon cord. Uh, it's an interesting set. So let's, let's keep going. This is definitely interesting, but a two piece, two knife set, you know, hey, ye, ye. that's three knives right there so far. We still have one more box. And this is a much bigger box. So, first thing, it's going to be Antique Bowie is what it says on the side there. Oop, there we go. Antique Bowie. And let's see. So here is the sheath. Kind of a cheapy, plasticky type sheath. Maybe cardboard-esque. And <laughs> this thing is massive. Oh, this is great. <laughs> oh, that is huge. And uh, yeah, not really sharp knife, but pretty big. I mean, I've got some pretty big hands. So, I mean, this is the the Walmart $5 knife sitting on the blade. <laughs> this is huge. Uh, so, let's see if it fits in the sheath. So, I think this is supposed to go in to the sheath. And I'm very cautious because years ago I had bought a cheap set of knives off of QVC. And the sheath was so cheap that the knife poked right through the sheath and cut me in the cut my hand. So I, I am a little cautious when it comes now. So <laughs> so um that's the sheath. I probably won't be using that. Eh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I can find a better one. Um, but the knife itself um, appears to be full tang. Uh, you can see what looks like the blade coming through all the way up. Um, I believe this is just a piece that's glued in. It seems like it's pretty solid in there. Um, the knife itself is not very sharp. It doesn't feel like it. Got a good point to it. It's pretty heavy. And then the handle itself looks really unfinished. So I guess that's supposed to be the antique look. Uh, so let's see, let's check out that compared to some of the others. So the others, the knives obviously full tang. And the final knife, and eh, this one's full tang as well. You can see that the blade actually goes all the way up through the handle. Quite a fun little adventure, I think. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely what I needed. Um, I may be doing another one of these since I enjoyed that so much. Um, did I get my money's worth? <laughs> I can't honestly say that, um, but uh, in entertainment value, yeah, I did. Um, Bud K's Mystery, uh, this is the um, Fixed Blade 3. I believe this cost me 17 something. Well, well worth the adventure, it was entertainment at least. Um, and I got a couple of uh, nifty little knives out of it. So, see you next time.